Going back to the sidebar, it's my favorite tool is the AI Remove Retakes. This is a great tool to help cut down your footage to only keep the best takes. This tool works best for talking head videos. And if you have a person like me who makes constant mistakes, this tool does cut down your editing time by a lot. So for this example, let me go back to my project manager and I'm going to select one of the sequence I'm gonna work with. Let me delete this one first. I believe this is the sequence that we are working on with. And from the silence remover test, you can see that I stutter a lot and make a lot of mistakes. Now I'm just gonna go back to my active sequence and click on this, create rough cut analysis. This is going to export the audio first as always, and then it's going to run the AI analysis in the background to see which cuts to keep. There is an estimated amount of time, so we're gonna jump back in once this is done. Great, our AI analysis has been completed. If we go to our sequence, you can see that no cuts have been made. This is absolutely correct because we can make the adjustments of what we want to keep in our transcription window. We can go to the play button right here and play a sample of how it sounds like. This is a Casper folder manager in order to start seeing. All right, that's not too bad. Let's go to different sections. And as I scroll down, you can see how many takes I did. And thankfully I have AI to remove a lot of the bad takes. We can play this sample at this section. I'm gonna add my footage folder. That's perfectly fine. But for this purpose, for example, if I don't like this section, I can remove it or I can add it back with a press of a button. Let's play this section. For it to monitor. Maybe I don't like this first sentence right here. What I can do, I can split the container by clicking on the word, shift control K, split it up and remove this section. Now let's play this sample back here. So when any changes comes up, we can see the changes in Adobe Premiere. Perfect, let's zoom in a little bit quicker. Or maybe I don't like the word Adobe Premiere. I can also adjust the accuracy of the containers because AI is never really perfect, but you have the ability to make the accuracy a lot more better. I'm gonna click on here, which will allow me to adjust the accuracy of the in and out points. So all I have to do is click on, choose the out point, make it a little bit closer. And let's say I wanna cut this entire section. And there we go. It's going to update the containers with how it's going to look like now. And let's play back. So when any changes comes up, we can see the changes in Adobe Premiere. Great, and of course I do wanna keep the word Adobe Premiere in here, so I'm gonna click on that. If there's a take where there's a long silence region that we wanna keep in, we can also keep that in by pressing on the container. Perfect, let's keep that in for now, just for this test purpose. Now you might be wondering, how do we make the cuts? All the way down here, there are four different options on how you want to do this. If you click on the green check mark, it is going to apply the frame cuts and delete all the bad takes. In this button, only apply the frame cuts and disable the clips. Here, you can just apply the frame cuts by itself. In this button, it would remove all the clips that are disabled. But in this test, we're gonna create the whole rough cut with a click of a button first. Let's see what happens. Great, it's completed. Let's see how it looks. Let's start from here, because I know the first take is fine. We're gonna first add folder to monitor. I'm gonna add my footage folder, so when any changes comes up, we can see the changes in Adobe Premiere. And this is the long silence that we have kept. Uh, let's delete it for now. This folder does have a couple of sub bins. We have the B-roll footage, we have Jiffy's, and in there we have several different files. Let me add this first. As you can see, we have only- Great, so, so far it does look pretty good. Um, again, it is not perfect, but you have the ability to make changes to how you want this to be. Mm -hmm. 